movement tips and lifestyle hacks brought to you by FitLab PGH. Movement, a part of making your life complete. FitLab PGH is back with another movement tip and lifestyle hack. Last time we talked about setting up your kitchen counter or dining room table so it would be suitable for sitting and working on your laptop computer. We've all read in various news media how standing desks are the latest and greatest. And if you're like me and you've gotten on Amazon or other places like that, you realize that the cost of a standing desk is a pretty substantial investment and you probably want to try it out before you invest in something that expensive. So I have a kitchen counter. My kitchen counter is a little higher than normal. I'm about 6'1", and my kitchen counter is about 39 inches, so it's a little taller than the standard kitchen counter. And if I just set my laptop on it, you can see that in order to see the screen, I have to hunch over and the slump monster comes back. So I experimented with different heights of books, different heights of cardboard boxes, and came up with what was the optimal height. What I did is I made myself a little shelf with a piece of wood from Home Depot or Lowe's that I did a fancy staining job on and I purchased four legs from Ikea. Uh, I think this time you'll see flashing across the screen the name of the legs. The legs are like 12 to 14 dollars. So the piece of wood, four legs, and the screws that come with it, you can make your own shelf and the legs come at adjustable heights. So what I do is I set my laptop down on the counter. Actually I set the shelf on the counter and then I put the laptop on top of the shelf and I have, which is what I've adjusted for me, so I can have my elbows bent at 90 degrees, plus or minus a few degrees. I can stand up nice and tall. I can avoid the slump monster. And what I like about the standing desk, it doesn't save my life. It's not, oh my God, it's a miracle. But what I find is when I get tired, or when I find myself uncomfortable, that's a much clearer sign for me to take a break, as opposed to if I have a stool and I want to take a break, I find myself slumping down like this, which brings the slump monster into play. So think about if you want a standing desk, experiment with a piece of wood or some height, some books of various heights, and you may find that the standing desk works for you, or it doesn't, or you want to use it sometimes. Don't forget to check out our weekly podcasts, and thanks for joining FitLab PGH for another movement tip and lifestyle hack. Three times a week, FitLab PGH brings you a movement tip or lifestyle hack. Thanks to the Pilates Body for providing us a locale for filming.